I tried to be educational. I'm just not Bill Nye, you know? But like old Bill Nye. I'm more like new Bill Nye. You know, where just everybody just doesn't really like him very much. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing Farmer's Dynasty. That's right. My name is Wonka, and I have a problem. I'm binging this game way too hard. I can't stop. There's nothing I can do. But if you're enjoying the binge and you're binging with me, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. <sighs> it's convenient how these always work out, where we like work the whole day, like pretty much one day is an episode. Sometimes I think it might have not worked out exactly like that, but for the most part, I think it has. So today we're back on the grind, back making money, so we have options, we can buy things. So far, the only option that we've pretty much unanimously agreed on, as far as the voters go, is that we want a truck. We want a truck and we want it now. So even though that may not be the smartest purchase that you can do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you. And I think I've come up with a plan to do so. So the first thing we're gonna do is take advantage of our very last field here. I've been waiting for it to finish off. I don't know if it is or not, because it says 99.98. I don't know if it's gonna get much better than that. So we're gonna harvest some canola today. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. I'm also going to uh, throw this right beside the field here. So I can load it up every time it gets full. Damn, this guy just eats so much. However, that did remind me that I need to uh, collect the eggs and milk for the day. We'll do that real quick. That door needs to close properly. It bothers me. At least our cow didn't change colors today. Chicken food. Also good. Whoa! How did I end up on the roof? That was magical. The one thing I will say about the chickens, though, is they're not very profitable. They do, however, save you money by just eating the eggs yourself instead of eating the expensive food from the market. So, it is kind of a give and take. But you won't be making a ton of money off of it, that's for sure. Cows make okay money. But again, I think the main reason of the cows is the manure, so that you can manure and fertilize your field, which we will be doing very, very soon. This fertilizer is actually loaded and ready to go, which to do that, by the way, you do that over there. That's in this little, the magazine, as they call it. The magazine? <laughs> I don't know why you would pronounce it different in this particular case. But, um, yeah, the cedar's there as well. I haven't loaded it with seeds yet. We'll do that. I'll show you how it works. It'll be fun. But we need our harvester. I really thought they fixed the noises of this thing. I don't know why it sounds like this. I feel like it really isn't supposed to. But it does for some reason. Like, when you idle, that sounds good. That sounds normal. But then when you're driving, not, not so good. Not so normal. All right. Here we go. We're going to uh, start the combining process. Are you ready? Set. Farmer John Jr. Let's go. Shit, shit. I forgot about the whole speed limit thing. Um, so we're going to try the cruise control here. There we go. So the cruise control, I believe, makes you go the speed that is best suited for the machine? I don't know, because cruise control on the tractor goes full speed, I think. But then cruise control with this does not. It goes the perfect speed so that you don't lose any crop, which is obviously the idea. Well, that's not good. This was a flaw to going down the middle. I, f I filled up and now I gotta carefully back out and not destroy any crops. Oh boy, oh boy. We're swaying a bit. This is not good. Woo! 99%. We were skating the edge. We need every last euro from this field, alright? We can't be wasting no money. 
All right, we're going to try and connect up this line from the other side. It's probably a terrible idea, but it also sounds like fun. I mean, we were close. Ish. <laughs> There we go, another field down. More money in the piggy bank. We got 10,000 kilograms of canola from that field. Not too shabby. If we go over here, we can see canola is worth 792 euros. And that's per 1,000 kilograms. So we got a pretty good haul here worth of money. Now that's... That's all fine and dandy. That'll be about $7,000, which is going to bring us really close. And I mean really close. If not, we may hit it with that load of canola right there. But then we have no extra money. So I have a plan to make us some extra money. We're just going to take this harvester, just nonchalantly just drive it over here, you know. Nothing, nothing to see here. We're just, we're just hanging out, going for a cruise in our harvester. When what do we see? A magical wheat field appears before me. Again, with the, with the rhyming, I don't, I don't know. Now, if we go here, we could actually purchase this field for 7,480 euros with 14,000 social points or 14,000 euros outright. And it'll probably make us about twice as much as our other field of wheat, which means we're probably looking at that money back, if not more. But what we could also do is just try and steal our neighbor's crop. I don't know if this is going to make us lose social points. Oh, God, <laughs> you are stealing your neighbor's crop. It is really bad for your social status and you receive additional penalty. Yikes. Okay, on, on second thought, you can you can have you can have your field. I thought maybe we could steal it, and I would steal it if social points weren't like basically maybe even more valuable than money in this game. Cause social points are not too challenging to earn, but worth quite a bit. So part of me wants to take advantage of this field over here and buy it. Another part of me wants to go look for some corn, because I want to use the corn header attachment. But I don't know where a close field of corn would be. Let's do a little bit of a cruise around and see what we can find. We got another wheat field over here. This one's huge though, holy. Maybe that's not wheat. What is that? Oh, that's canola. Oh, it's actually smaller than the last field. It's just two fields kind of joining together. I think that might be corn or it might be wheat. It's hard to tell from here. So far, we got a lot of wheat. And we got a lot of canola. You could tell the cornfield from a decent distance just because of how tall it is. But sometimes from far away, 
These all look kind of tall. I remember seeing corn in one of these fields. But now I just actually have no idea which one. Alright, we got this, this here field. Not too far down the street. And it's actually got a new crop for us. But I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe our best bet right now is to eat some eggs. But besides that, maybe our best bet is to harvest some more canola. I don't know. Nah, we're harvesting this field right here. As long as the money looks lucrative, let's find out here. Alright, we should be able to make this money back. Let's use the discount just so we can make a little bit more money off of it. We're down to 4,320 euros, but once we successfully harvest this, I think our story might change a little bit. Now, first thing I gotta do is get rid of this wheat. Alright, let's uh, steal, uh, this is probably John the market guy's crops, so let's steal his crops. So apparently these lupins are from the legume family. Or basically like a pea, some kind of soybean or something. I have never personally knowingly eaten these. Um, they looked more purple on Google. But hey, they pay good. I checked at the market. We should, should being the keyword, basically break even if this field was full price. But it's not. Thanks to social points, we should double up. We should make our money back and then double up. Which should give us enough money for the truck next episode as well as a little bit left over for, you know, planting the fields again and little things like that that we're going to have to do. I don't know why I'm doing this field the short way. I should be doing it the long way for less turnarounds, but you know. Sometimes the brain just stops working. So, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that other grain loader, whatever you want to call it, I believe it has to be done with the harvester. I don't think you can dump this into it. If you can, it's pretty challenging because you got to, like, back it up just right, and I just don't think it's practical. So, we're just going to empty the silo, and hopefully... Well, no, not hopefully. We, we should be able to finish everything we need to finish today at some point. Um, because, thankfully, the agricultural market is not too far away. One cool thing I have noticed is I do think that the uh, full trailer does weigh down the tractor a little bit. As you can see, doing a solid t 10 kilometers an hour up this hill. And, I mean, it's a, it's a, good, it's a good sized hill, but it's not that steep. Ooh, this is fancy. Driving up into this covered area to drop off my grains. For big money, big money, big money. Oh, yes. Look at it go. Why does the trailer do that when you unload it? It's annoying. All right, not bad, not bad. Regaining some of that money that we've invested. We didn't spend it. We invested it. Wise investment. What the? I don't know how I did that. Dropped my controller, teleported to the harvester. The harvester looked like it was made out of hay. That was interesting. So just like that, we're back where we left off before buying that field. Not so bad. All we had to do was sell all the crops from the old field. So what we've learned today is I'm a much better farmer businessman than I am a thief. Uh, yeah, I'm not a very good thief. The whole stealing crops thing didn't work out in my favor. But what what would work out in your favor is if you go straight as soon as you can get the harvester. Maybe the grain trailer and the tractor and that's it. And you could just go around the whole map just stealing crops till you get to zero social points. Then at that point, who cares? Steal all the crops in town. Everyone will hate you, but you'll be rich. And then you can start regaining social points and everyone's trust. After. <laughs> I think it's a pretty solid plan. If you're going to be trying this game and you're going to be new at it, try that out for me, you know? Let me know how it goes. You can be my guinea pig. Alright, let's get back at her pitter-patter. 
Apparently, lupin is used in Mediterranean cuisine. And Mexican. Or it grows in Mexico. I can't remember now. I tried to be educational. I'm just not Bill Nye, you know? But like old Bill Nye. You know? I'm more like new Bill Nye. You know, where just everybody just doesn't really like him very much. That's me. I don't know why, but every once in a while, I am literally like right over top of the trailer. And it claims that I'm spilling. And I don't really understand why it's robbing me of my hard-earned crop. But it is. And I don't like it. Alright, I did it. With zero sleep to spare. Let's get out of here. And deposit this stuff back home. And go to sleep. We can come back for the tractor in the morning. I, I don't I don't feel like playing with death. Although I really don't think you can die in this game. We've kind of tested it a little bit. Not enough where I'm fully comfortable and confident. But enough where I'm like... Well, harvesting fields until 12.30 in the morning. Oh my god, it's raining! What? That's probably not good. We should probably store those grains in the silo then. If it's raining. I, I don't think I've seen rain in this game yet. I mean, I knew they added the weather update. So, you know, you kind of figure... It probably will rain at some point, but I honestly didn't know that it was in the game yet. Oh, it's even making little slushy noises. Little slushies. Alright, dump this in. Good stuff. Oh god. Watch out for that damn bush. It's a doozy. I'm just gonna park this thing out back of my garage because it doesn't fit inside of it. Just because it's raining- oh, listen to that. Ground smush. Just because it's raining, I'm gonna get my grains out of the rain here. Because I don't want them to be ruined. This is- This is probably my truck right here, you know? Which we should be able to afford- oh, look at the puddles. In the next episode. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But I think our criminal days are behind us. We got it out of our system. Once we go to bed, we're gonna wake up rejuvenated, reborn, a new man who does not steal. But it was fun for the 2.3 seconds that it lasted. And that's it, folks. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember, even on the rainiest of days, home is where the heart is. Or at least, place you're most comfortable taking a sh- It's a good thing we fixed the damn house. Maybe that's why it started raining, because we actually have a working roof now. Let's, let's make sure we're not getting any leaks. Excellent. Excellent. Why are there still raindrops? Oh, that look- Okay, we're leaking. We're definitely leaking. Can I- There we go. <laughs>